Today for this series, uh, from zero to React, we're going to touch a very uh, simple, a very simple uh, topic because it's going to be useful in the future, and also uh, I think it needs its own video because it has some, uh, let's say. In the comments, there's there are gonna be people who is gonna be like, "You're crazy," and you're wrong, and some people is, are going to be like, "Yeah, that that's true." That so, let's talk about it. It is conditional rendering. Conditional rendering. What do you understand by that? If you ask me. I'm going to render something if something is true. If it's not true, I'm not going to render it. So there are two kinds of it. The first is the most, I think, is the most common, is the short circuit rendering, which, OK, so let's create a state. I had this list, ignore it. This is going to be for the list video. So let's use a state. Uh, const const uh, render. It's going to be okay, it's going to be a state. You it's going to be render set render is going to be use state. I hope this and it's going to be false by default, okay? So I can use this and it's going to import it from React. That, it, that was an AI, that was a help from the IDE. So now, there are two kinds, as I said. The most common that I have seen is render, like they, they use uh, they use this render and then an and operator and then something like hello for instance now it is showing uh, it is rendering the parentheses but it's not it's not showing the hello. Why? Because it is false. But let's just let's create a quick button that on click uh, it's going to do this. It's going to take it's going to take set render prep and it's going to set it as the contrary. And we need, of course, to close it and switch. Okay. So conditional rendering is this. Render is true or false. If it is true, it's going to be hello. Hello, and if it is false, it's not going to render. I personally never like this one. I don't know why I never like the syntax of it. So I always use this way. Render. Render. This is a condition. The condition can be, this is bigger than one. This is a condition. But now we're using render, okay? So we're going to show hello or we're not going to show anything. So it is render. That's the condition. This is the question. The question is like an if. If this is true, then do this. If this is false, then do this. No. So instead of null, I'm going to put a goodbye. Okay. So we can 
use it to switch between goodbye and hello. Isn't that great? So that's that's it for conditional rendering. It's actually a very brief, uh, a very brief topic, but it's very used. It's very used. Uh, you're gonna see it a lot when you, for instance, close or open models, or when you. Uh, you're going to you're going to see it everywhere, basically. I, I was going to do this video and I realized that we need to know what conditional rendering is first. So now you know is this is the if this is true, let's do this. If this is false, let's do this. And that's it for conditional rendering. Let's try to make it a little bit more like, eh, like, uh, I don't know. What if we just render a div with the style and the style is that the height is a hundred percent and then the width is hundred percent as well okay and this is going to be rendered if this is true and the background 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 is going to be blue but if if we don't want that we're going to render Goodbye. Instead of goodbye, that's going to be a red, a red dip. Okay. So we have the switch. I think the switch will be look will be will look better here. And let's see. Something's wrong because background height and width something's wrong with our style component background height and width so now it's rendering nothing yeah now it's rendering something oh yeah but I think that in order to make the that the height to be it has to be a uh, display um, um, I think flex is going to do the trick no what about what about inline block the old one uh, so the, the height is what is not happening what if I do a viewport height for the red okay that worked and for the blue the same viewport height and then we have blue we have some fun with rendering with conditional rendering we are having fun <laughs> I know that's not your idea of having fun but that is conditional rendering and it's very important to know it because not always we are going to have the opportunity to place an if and inside the render you're going to need to calculate it's going to be useful for for you so either you either you like the the one with the the one with the short circuit render 
like this. Remember I told you that some people like doing some people like doing this. In this case we will need another another one of this. We will need another one of this uh short circuit rendering. Render and but this is false. Uh, 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 I okay. So this is the same. It's short circuit and conditional rendering with short circuit, conditional rendering with with the true and false. And I don't know. I I read that this way the short circuit can give truthy truthy uh results here when it is not true. So that's why people is using the other way, but it's a debate that's never gonna end. So Thanks for watching and this is conditional rendering. The next video is going to be about lists and lists are very important in React because you need to list things. You need to list users. You need to list everything. So thanks for watching and God bless ya.